Hey, what's going on, everyone? So last week we had a pretty big episode following our pay-per-view where Wolf Hawkins told Doc Hammond to take care of T-Bone Bright, who failed. Now this week we have Wolf and T-Bone continuing. We had Aaron Andrews announce that he is the ace of TCW and no one's in his way. And then we had Freddie Huggins picking up a major victory over Mighty Mo. We start off with Wolf defeating Flying Jimmy Fox in a pretty good matchup uh, just to get Wolf a win over a upper mid-card competitor to show that he might not be Aaron Andrews, but still pretty damn good. We then go into Roderick Remus telling Vita, who he flirted with last week, hey, watch my match next, you might see something you like. Then we go into Seth Whitehead and Roderick Remus, makeshift tag team for tonight, defeating Divine Fortune. Following that, we had Joshua Taylor pick up another victory, this time over Dean Daniels. Joshua Taylor, who in canon, lost to Aaron Andrews in December, has picked up a lot of victories and a lot of momentum now, so maybe he's almost back in that contention for the title. Then we had a big angle that's going to have um, implications throughout the rest of the series, where Sammy Bach was uh, backstage moping around. Fred Schur introduced himself and said, you know what, man, you're the reason I got into this. You're a reason pro wrestler. It's an honor to shake your hand. We go backstage with Wolf telling T-Bone, you have one more week to consider our offer, or you might face the wrath of the syndicate, and you might be the guy. I take all my frustration out on this company, and the fact that I am not looked at as the guy in this company, because I can tell you, at the end of the day, I am the guy. No one can tell me different. Then we have Matt Hawking picking up a huge victory over Ed Stone. This is to show that Ed Stone mind isn't all there on wrestling right now. Um, and Matt Hawking is refocused, revamped. He is now facing towards upper mid-card status and continuing that. We have Public Enemy number one and Daz and Dave Diamond pick up a big victory over Mark Speed and Maverick, getting just uh, a victory for the baby faces here. Mark Speed is somebody who I'm going to look at what I can do more with. We have Freddie Huggins saying, you know what, last week I defeated Mighty Mo. I haven't lost a match in two months, and I don't understand why I'm not in title consideration, why everyone's talking about this j Cord one-man army matchup tonight, as it's a de facto crown for number one contendership, I can tell you. I am going to be in that conversation one way or another. We had Greg Gage picking up a big victory, defense number 16 over Tana the Mighty, Tana the Mighty, um, start looking down the slide down that card. Then we have a big angle with Eddie Peak saying he doesn't know what's so mighty about Mighty Mo. Um, they lost the tag matches versus uh, Center Society's The Behemoths, and now that he lost last week to Freddie Huggins, Mighty Mo isn't all that mighty. We have Aaron Andrews go up to J Cord backstage as J Cord's prepping for his match, saying, "You know what? I'm going to be watching tonight, man. I wish you all the luck in the world, and I look forward to one day facing you. I don't know if it's going to be soon, but down the line, we're definitely going to cross hairs and." I think it's going to be a great match. Which leads to our main event with One Man Army picking the big upset victory as over J Cord. Now this does set a shift where One Man Army defeat J Cord. J Cord is our in, uh, de facto number one contender and we push to that. Then uh, at the overall we had 10,000 attendance which is very well. 78 rating. Uh, solid throughout I mean honestly. Uh, Pre-show action of course I didn't really show that. But we'll get to it next time.